Hello everyone on YouTube. Today is part three of the aging of the arcade machines. Today we are doing Street Fighter. Today I have my guest, my daughter Jocelyn. Hello. She's going to be doing the filming and the shooting of this video. So she's going to be helping me out. So as you saw last week, we did Centipede and you saw the gameplay footage of Centipede. You saw this, the controls are still working. The button still sucks. Um, but like I said, all that's going to get replaced and be upgraded. So today we are going to do Street Fighter. So we're going to show you uh, gameplay footage of Street Fighter, button controls, uh, and joystick controls, and, and see how they work after being four years old. Um, but just a reminder: next week I am going to be doing a review on the Terminator 2 cabinet, and I do have it over there. Um, yesterday, well, let's say last night, we put it together myself and my daughter. Uh, we put it together and it took us four hours. Holy crap. Between getting the light guns to work and calibrating it and, and it's, yeah, it was a lot of work. And, and that cabinet is more taller than all the other cabinets I have here. So it took a, a lot. So stay tuned next week for that one. Um, we already did half the video on that one uh, and uh, we took some pictures of us putting it together. We didn't do a video footage of that one. So, all right, so without any further ado, let's dive into Street Fighter and get this gameplay going. So, are you ready, Jocelyn? Yeah. Uh, let's do it. Hi, right, folks, welcome to the show. Today, like I said, we're gonna be doing Street Fighter. We're going to show the difference between the two sides of the controllers. We're going to do player one, we're going to do player two. And we're going to try it on all three games that's on the Street Fighter. Right now we have, we're going to be playing on the Champion Edition, as well as the Challenger, and then Street Fighter Turbo. So you ready, Jocelyn? Yep. Okay, let's get this started. Play my favorite character, Ken. Nice. Gotta get a little aggressive. Sonic Boom, but not this time, buddy. <laughs> Oh, 
Now, back in the days, we call that cheating. When they try to keep you in the corner and keep beating you. That's what gamers in the arcades should call cheating. Wow, it's you versus your own self. Mm, the double. Mmm. Get nasty. Taking no prisoners. <laughs> back. We both knocked each other out. Double KO, <laughs> get out of here. That never happens. Hardly. Hardly. Double knockout? What the heck? There you go. Now you down. No, no double dig. No double KO on this one. <laughs> God, there's a pattern to this one. Me and he still knocked me down. <laughs> Whoa! 
down. Finally I lose. Okay, so that was Street Fighter Champion. We're gonna go over to New Challenger. And we're gonna play it on player two controls. Sorry for it being player one, there's no player one, so I'm gonna have to beat player one up till I get the computer. Okay, so now we put the controllers to the test because we're going to be playing against the computer. And of course, they gave me dial. That's the first fight. <laughs> skills are coming back. A little bit. Yeah. 
I know that's horrible. <laughs> to be a gamer, that's horrible. At least you get your name up. Yeah, on horrible spots. <laughs> Not like first place or anything. You'll eventually get there again. No, I know. Well, on this one, yeah. On the PC, I'm still... You're already going to get there. I'm, I know, I'm already still top number one around the world on PC. Okay, so now let's go over to Chief Fighter Turbo. Try this one out. Now, there is a difference in the controllers, and it's a simple. The buttons on here are a little bit responsive, but the joystick itself is not that responsive, which means when you do your Hadouken, you're supposed to be around like a half a U-turn, and it's not coming out. So I don't know if it's the controller is not lining up with the buttons, or the buttons not lining up with the controllers. But when I do my Hadouken, Hadouken, doesn't matter if it's jab, strong, or fierce, it should come out when I'm doing it like this. And it's not coming out. So, player one is definitely showing his age. As far as it being a four-year-old game, a four-year-old arcade machine, since this is the very first one that RK one up dropped out, it's now it's definitely showing its age because it's very hard to control. Where player two is very easy because no one has ever really played player two. I never had anybody come over and play player two. So player two still feels new and the controls are more responsive than player one. So last game, let's try this out. This time we'll do Ryu. Give Ken a break. Okay, probably tired. How does I do? Play me in like another game. <laughs> Oh, gotta jump over. And so sorry about that, it cut out at the last minute when we was playing the third Street Fighter game, the Turbo, and the video just cut out. We ran out of footage, so. <laughs> so now we just gonna go straight to the final thoughts. So what do you think on the controllers on Street Fighter? I think player two is much easier since nobody is really over here and does not play it as much. And player one is definitely loose because I've played that one before and it was loose. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely loose to where it's not as responsive as it used to be. Um, but like I said, machine is four years old, so it's gonna have its wear and tear. It's gonna show its aging. So uh, yes, the controller is gonna have to be replaced, which eventually is all gonna get upgraded. We're all gonna get brand new stuff. So um, it, it'll probably work much more better than what it what it does right now. Uh, even though player two is still good, it's still responsive, it's also going to get replaced anyway because eventually it will show his age. So uh, we might as well just get a whole set and just replace it. There's many places you can go online that have third parties, um, buttons and controls that you can use that, that will fit your RK 1UP machines. And so all you have to do is just look up many places you can get them. Um, I know RK 1UP don't sell any replacements for the deck controls or nothing. They don't do that anymore. They don't post them on their website anymore. Um, they do show marquees and stuff like that. But for older machines like Street Fighter, Centipede, Asteroids, Space Invaders, 
they don't have any replacement kits for those anymore because those machines are considered obsolete, I believe. So uh, they don't have any replacement, but you can't find third party people that sells them or upgrade your machines to replace those buttons. So um, it's been real. Um, I want to thank Jocelyn for joining me on my show. Welcome. You had fun? Yeah. Even though we was up on like putting together Terminator 2 and we was up for four hours putting that thing up. So yeah, we, we should be still a little bit tired. We can go to bed till about what, six in the morning? Say five, ten, maybe. Yeah, we're five, ten, around, around six, almost six in the morning. So we was up pretty late putting that stuff, putting that thing together. But we had fun playing with T2. It works, and that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys next week. Is the T2 cabinet that I just got. We put that up last night. So I want to thank you all, guys, for watching, coming to my show and watching again. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. If you uh, like this channel, or you like this video like my little daughter here who's uh, entertaining me over here uh, hit that like button and uh, hit that no notification bell so whenever a video is coming up uh, you guys will be notified so I will see you guys next Monday uh, next week and we will be doing T2 okay so say bye everybody bye, bye guys <laughs>